Hi, Cancer. This is your Law of Attraction general tarot reading for the month of August 2016. You can also check out your rising or your moon sign for greater insight. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, Cancer, this first card is going to represent your current desires for the month of August. Second card is going to represent what you're identifying with and your values. Third card is going to represent what the illusion or the doubt is. Fourth card is going to represent the path to your fulfillment. Fifth card is going to represent the right attitude. And the last card is going to represent the outcome. Okay, Cancer. So what you're currently desiring for the month of August, we have the beautiful seven of cups. This is a beautiful card. Um, it is a cup. So I do feel strongly. This is your energy. So it represents the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this card is all about imagination. So I feel Cancer that um, in the month of August, you're definitely connecting with your creative side. You are really using your intuition, your, um, your emotional creativity, and you're imagining all the possibilities in your life for yourself, but also for your loved ones, for your family and for your friends. I feel that because we have the purple and the blue, you're really deeply connected to your intuition. And I do feel that you're actually feeling a sense of power and sense of strength in the month of August. As you can see, this hand is holding this, this ball with a powerful tidal wave, a force of energy, a force of energy and creative imagination. And that's you cancer. Um, and you know, with the waves, that's the beautiful part of your sign. You're a water energy and you can't really predict the ocean. There's times where it's calm and settled and there's times where it's, you know, roaring and huge tides and waves and you have this power, you have this energy within you. And at times this energy can be a little overwhelming because you have so much creative potential and you feel so much that it can be a little overwhelming at times. However, it's a beautiful power to have because you have the force of the ocean, of your emotions, of your intuition in the month of August. And you're, you're seeing so many new opportunities, so much potential. I feel like you're getting a lot of insight and things are just kind of coming to you in the month of August. And you realize that you're powerful cancer. You realize that yes, maybe you're more emotional and sensitive, but you know that you're a force to be reckoned with. And you know that when you direct this energy, it's incredibly powerful. It's incredibly healing and it creates magical, beautiful, creative moments. So I do feel that you're open in the month of August, you're listening, your imagination is active, it's alive. Uh, and I feel that the challenge is going to be to really narrow down what you want to do with all of this inspiration, with all of these different possibilities. Um, what is that going to look like practically in your life? How are you going to start that process if you get a new insight or a new project? So the key here is just to, to take like a, a more grounded approach and to maybe journal this month. You know, you're, if you're getting a lot of flashes of insight, your intuition is strong to trust those messages and also to, to start thinking practically and realistically how you can manifest these things or how you can start that process. So there's a lot of excitement, a lot of anticipation in the air and a lot of, um, um, imaginative power at your disposal and you are in control cancer. You have the ability to harness this energy and direct it any way that you choose. So the, the challenge is going to be, where do I want to direct it? I have all this power at my dispense, disposal. Where is it going to go? Okay. So what you're currently valuing and identifying with, and in a sense who you truly are, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I love this card. Um, this is an earth sign. It is uh, exemplified by the worker. And what I like about this cancer is you are, you are incredibly tenacious when you set your mind to something and you're also a cardinal sign. 
you you don't give up so you know as a cancer as the crab you know you can cling on to something and if you want that cancer you are not letting go you are going to persist 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 until you reach your goals so that's kind of what you're valuing that's what you're identifying with this worker energy as you can see this person's very studious very focused very concentrating on their goals on their dreams and they are just relentless and focusing on what they want it's just like bam um this is a virgo capricorn or taurus so some of you might be uh dealing with corresponding networking family members friends you might be dealing with an earth sign this month which is actually beautiful for you because this kind of correlates to this creative um, uh, imaginative power if you can harness that into kind of a practical grounded way with an earth sign you're really going to be a powerful team and so you could be associating with a person or this could just be you you know harnessing this energy i really feel like cancer you're you're taking your creative energy you're taking you're using your intuition and this does have to do with finances as well so some of you might be really working with someone on a financial level, like you're really putting your thoughts and plans to action. You're gonna do something about it. You're gonna think about what needs to happen to make this a reality. So whether that's saving money, saving uh, finances for a future goal or dream, uh, you're really, you're, you're disciplined this month in the month of August. And, and I also feel like you're planning cancer to manifest your financial intentions and you're willing to do the work. You're willing to scrimp and save. Um, if you have something that you're focusing on, you're willing to put in the time and the energy to make that a reality. Another beautiful thing about this card is that this is, this could be a message from someone from an earth sign or something in regards to your finances. And it also could be an event. So maybe something that you've been waiting on to come through for you, it will actually finally come through this month. And like I said, because it has to do with finances, it could relate to some money that you've been waiting on. So for some of you, it's just an energy. I feel like that you're willing cancer to do. You're willing to be patient and work for what you're seeking. You're willing to methodically do what it takes day by day and you're willing to be patient and you're going to bring these new ideas and inspirations to fruition. So these two energies right here, if you persist in this power in the month of August, I feel like magic can happen for you. Okay, so as far as the challenge, the distraction, or the illusion. We actually have the judgment card. And, and you know, even though you're feeling inspired, creative, you're sensing new possibilities in your life, the challenge or the distraction for some of you is this judgment card. And judgment is all about, um, it's about karma. It's about the universe rewarding you and others for past efforts. As you sow, so shall you reap. And this is, you know, so maybe there's a little temptation to doubt that the seeds that you're currently planting will come to fruition. Or it could also, you know, to me, this is a card of faith, honestly. And the temptation may be because you have so much positive inspiration coming in, there's a temptation to doubt. And for people that are really intuitive, you know, because it's not logic and it's not facts and it's not necessarily something you can see in the real world, there's a temptation to doubt that. There's times where we're really in tune with it, but then part of us wants to think, no, that can't be true. You know, I don't see the results right now. Um, you know, it's not manifesting today, you know, so it's really about having faith cancer in the process and knowing that the things that you do today are going to produce results for you. And this could also apply to other people. If there's been, if you have been wronged, if you have been hurt by someone else, um, you know, maybe you're waiting on that judgment. You're waiting for karma to kind of come back and bite them in the ass. And that's understandable. When we're hurt, you know, it's, it's tough. But I feel like God in the universe just wants you to trust the process of life and to know that, you know, karma will come back to everyone um, and as you sow, you will reap. Um, so just trusting that the universal laws and divine order is, is playing out in, perfect, in a perfect way, even if we don't understand it or see it clearly, it's about trusting that process. 
So I do feel that, you know, utilizing faith and belief in what we cannot see, because a lot of this stuff, you know, about uh, manifesting, it's all about faith and you have to kind of believe it before it appears. And that can be a challenge to the rational or logical mind. Maybe that, maybe you understand that cancer, but maybe other people around you don't. Maybe somebody's doubting your faith and optimism and it's, it's easy to doubt yourself and to doubt your intuition. And don't do that because that's the beauty of your sign. That's, that's your gift is that you sense things that are under the surface. You sense things that are in the undercurrents of life and you know, what, what are in the depths of the ocean, you feel other people's feelings and maybe other people can't tap into that, but you can. So I do just feel that the challenge this month, because you have a lot of creative potential going on, a lot of new opportunities and a lot of new possibilities. And the temptation might be to doubt that, to doubt that, wow, can this really happen? Am I dreaming too big? Is this really possible? And the message is no, Cancer, use that. Yes, you do have to use um, a grounded practical approach to your goals and dreams, but also do not underestimate the power of the universe and of faith and of believing and what that can produce as well. Okay, so the path to your fulfillment, Cancer, we have the beautiful card of the wheel. And yeah, I mean, what I'm really getting here, Cancer, is that this, this is kind of a big month for some of you. This is like, you're, some of you are really taking stock of your life and you have reached certain points in your life and you're ready to go farther. You're ready to go bigger. And that's exciting, but it's a little overwhelming. Um, but this, the universe is saying you're on the right path because the wheel here, this is about the life wheel. So this is about you, you being in control cancer and you deciding, you looking at every aspect of your life, taking an honest reflection of you know your health, your love life, your hobbies, your friends, your family, your spirituality, and just from a one to 10, just being really honest with each area of your life, one being not happy, 10 being so happy, you know, to the moon and back, um, evaluating your fulfillment in each of those areas. And by doing that, you're gonna get an, you know, if you're really truly honest with yourself, you're gonna be able to empower yourself. And I feel like this is gonna help you to see where you can direct this new creative energy and potential. Because you have all this energy going on in the month of August, new possibilities, creativity, excitement, energy. Where are you gonna point that? Where are you going to project that energy? It's up to you, Cancer. You're able to create. This is a very creative month for you. So, so see where you're not satisfied and don't judge yourself if you're not. If you're not, it's okay. No one's perfect. No one has it all figured out. We're all a work in progress and we're all you know, doing the best that we can and seeking to improve ourselves. So this is going to give you, a, once again, a realistic kind of practical way how to harness this energy that you're experiencing. So anything that you feel you are dissatisfied in life, you know, maybe you're not um, getting the results that you desire, say if it's relationships, um, then you can start using these methods, this, this inspiration, this creativity to harness and to point it in that area. So you'll know where to focus it. You'll know where to start working. This also, uh, Cancer, is about kind of the ebbs and flows of life, and it kind of really relates to the tides of the ocean. I feel that you're really, you're feeling the time shifting. And you know, August is kind of a month for that because it's like in transition, getting close to uh, fall. And so you're just, you're very in tune with the energies right now, Cancer. And what's beautiful about it is that the month of August is really going to allow you to kind of play an active role in it, to harness this energy that you're sensing and to direct it where you want it to go. So this is a beautiful month for you to create something new or to improve uh, an area of your life. Okay, so the right attitude to have with yourself and with others. I love this card. This is the Queen of Cups. This is the mother. And this is very, you know, this relates strongly to cancer as cancer is very um, motherly and also attached to the mother. So. I love this because this is all about loving yourself, Cancer, being tender, gentle, kind, the way a mother is with a child. And I know that a lot of you Cancers are very caring, very nurturing people. And so I feel that, yes, that's your beautiful attribute, but I want to make sure that you're doing that for yourself first and foremost. It's that whole concept of we cannot 
love other people until we love ourselves. And so I feel strongly cancer that this month is a month to, as you grow, as you expand yourself, as you are honest with different areas of your life in response to that, be tender, be loving, be compassionate with yourself first and foremost. What I like about this is with others, it's that same. And then when we're feeling nurtured and safe and secure, because the world may not always allow us to feel that way. Maybe certain people in your life or someone says something that's hurtful or, you know, we can't control all those things, but you can comfort and nurture and love yourself. And this is about kind of loving the inner child too. I mean, we all have the inner child. We're all like adults, but we still are little children. And so this is about kind of getting in tune with that this month and really being proud of yourself for all your accomplishments. And as you have that gentle energy towards yourself, Cancer, you're gonna have that towards others and that's going to inspire others. When a Cancer is feeling safe and secure, they're amazing friends, uh, they're inspirational, they are intuitive, they can be compassionate towards you and they know how to comfort you because they, they relate with your feelings. So I'm just feeling the message strongly that do this to yourself first and that's going to allow you naturally, automatically, and effortlessly to express that love to others. And that is going to inspire them. Okay, so let's recap here before we get to the outcome. Okay, so what you're currently identifying with or desiring is creativity and imagination. You're willing to work hard and you're also drawn to people that kind of have this very grounded, meticulous, hardworking approach. Um, as far as what the challenge is, we have the judgment card. So this is just going to test your faith. How much do you really believe what you desire, Cancer? Uh, because you are thinking big in the month of August. You're dreaming big and there's going to be a temptation to, to doubt it or also to kind of doubt the, the, the laws and the universal truths of the universe. Okay, so as far as the right path to take, it's the wheel of life. This is a very beautiful time for you to evaluate every area of your life you have a lot of creative energy at your disposal. And if there's an area that you're not happy with, that you're not satisfied with, uh, you have the power, you have the control to start shifting and making changes. And as far as the right attitude to have with yourself and others, we have the queen of cups, which is the mother. And so this is about tenderness and compassion. And as you're dealing with these truths, as you're dealing with these shifts, being gentle, being compassionate with yourself first and foremost. And I feel like that's going to reflect to others and it's going to bring a lot of inspiration and comfort to those around you. So what I feel, I feel a big shift is happening for you, Cancer, in the month of August. And as you do this work, what we have is the Four of Swords. And so what I'm feeling about this, I don't feel like this is negative at all because I feel like you're going to need a little more rest in the month of August. You're going to be active. You're going to be doing things, but there's going to be periods where you have so much creative energy going out your intuition, your emotions. You have to understand that takes a lot of energy and it's draining. And so you're going to be getting a lot of input into this month, kind of a lot going on uh, consciously and subconsciously and spiritually. And so there may be a need to take time out to rest and it kind of coincides with this mother energy. You know, when a, when a child doesn't feel well or they feel off, you know, the mother's like, you know, they should, uh, you know, rest, relax, recoup, let me nurture you. And so I do feel that this is gonna be a great month very exciting, very inspirational, a lot of possibility, a lot of creativity. But with that, I just feel the message is to nurture yourself, take rest when you need it. If you need to withdraw and have solitude to kind of recharge the batteries, do that, allow that, because that's just gonna allow you to harness your energies and your power even more and produce the results that you want in your life. And very beautiful reading, Cancer, a lot of great opportunities for you to love yourself and express yourself this month. So I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to this channel. That's going to make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. As always, Cancer, I really appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.